Quilters. Welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. It is a beautiful day in Omaha, Nebraska. My good friend Leslie's in the house. How are you? Good. How are you, Pam? Good. How was your week? It's been busy. Yeah. I'm shocked it's only Wednesday. I feel like it's like the end of the week already. Yeah. Like Monday, I thought, oh, it should be Friday. Yeah. Right? It's been a busy week here at AccuQuilt. It's actually my Friday today because I'm leaving town at one o'clock. I'm jealous. I know, I'm excited. I'm gonna head to Memphis, it'll be fun. All right, where is everyone watching from today? We had somebody watching from Puyallup, so good job. Judy from Rochester, Barb. Um, I saw someone from Russiaville, Indiana. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Hey, our good friend Christina's watching. Hey, Christina. Oh, this is so fun. All right, Heartland, Wisconsin. I've actually been to Heartland, Wisconsin. I have not been. Yeah, Gail is there. All right, here is the photo of the day because today we are talking about the Go Feather Star. This is my Oakley bug. Um, back in March, we went to Colorado for a few days and um, it was a beautiful trip. Uh, she went snowboarding and she went tubing and then we stayed at the hot springs. So all, uh, it was awesome. So all day we get in the cold, 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 then we come back to the hot springs. So there's Oakley Tubin in Colorado. So here is the question of the day. Since we're making the icy stars pattern, uh, what, would you, what do you do when it's cold outside? So Leslie, what do you do? I stay inside under blanket. Yes, you do. <laughs> I don't go outside ever. Leslie can hardly be in the dream studio when it's cold. It's freezing in here. It is cold in here. We turn the air down because of the lights. And when we did events together, she would sit in the back and huddle yes, up in blankets. Under, like two blankets. Do you like, like when it gets cold outside, do you like to do something besides being snug? Do you like read or watch I TV? I read. Or? And recently, last winter, I started quilting. So I was quilting during the winter. There you go. That's a good thing to take up. So in the comment section today, tell us what do you do when it's cold outside? And hey, don't forget to pick up the Go Schoolhouse today. Die. Today is the last Wednesday of the month, right? Yes, it is. No, we have one more. Wait, do we? We have one more next week, right? I don't. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's next only week. the 22nd. <laughs> okay, it is our September die to try. We have limited stock and, okay, we talk, hold on, I gotta take my shoes off. <laughs> we talked about it last week. And some of you watched and we talked about haunted houses. Oh, yes. I am working on making haunted houses out of the schoolhouse die. Someone said to make it all out of different colored grunge. That's, That's what you're doing? Oh, I'm doing it all out of different color Halloween fabric. Oh, someone said all different color of grunge. I do love grunge. Okay, so don't forget to pick one up. How much are they, Leslie? They are $89.99. Excellent. All right, today, because it's Wednesday, we always have a great promo for you. <laughs> Buy one. Get 170, that's seven zero off. Go cubes, dies, and accessories. So quilters, we're gonna talk about cubes and dies today, but accessories, think about like cutting mats, mm -hmm. right? Today's a great day to replace those cutting mats. You're gonna get thousands of cuts out of your dies, hundreds of cuts out of your mats. When they stop cutting cleanly, that's when you want to get a new one. The code you wanna use is BOGO70, B-O-G-O-7-0. And Leslie, what happens if they spend $375 or more? They'll get a Go Me put into their box for free. They will. Our shipping team, no code required, just spend $375 and we'll ship you a Go Me. Now, sometimes uh, some cultures already have a Go Me. What would you suggest they do if they got another one? I'd suggest donating it to like your quilt guild or to a senior center or to your local 4-H group. Yes. Or a lot of places would yes. probably happily accept. And I have one by my sewing machine all the time yes. because inevitably I'm missing a half square triangle and I can cut one. Okay, today we are talking about the Go Feather Star die. So today I'm gonna give away, this is a brand new die. We just released it like 10 days ago or something. Mm -hmm. So this is our Go Feather Star die. Be sure and share this video in your personal Facebook page for a chance to win. And my friend Leslie will announce the winner at the end of our show. All right, so 10 days ago, we released two new bob dies, the Go Weather Vane die and the Go Feather Star. So in addition to the schoolhouse, which they don't need a code for, right? They can just get it and it will discount it. Okay, we have the Rock the Block uh, bundle, which features both of these dies for 
okay? And again, you don't need a code if you just put them in your um, cart, right? They'll just... Yep, it'll just already be discounted for I'll you. I'll just give it to you. And it adds <laughs> to the 375 for your free Go Me. Oh, there you go. That's like halfway through. Yeah. Oh, get those two new dice. Did you have a favorite? Did you like Weather Vane or did you like... I'm afraid of the Y seams, but I like the Weather Vane more than the Feather Star. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I'd probably go for the Weather Vane more. Yeah, Weather Vane was really fun because you can, we're going to talk about it in a couple of weeks. Um, great way to bust up your scraps. Okay. Now, if you aren't familiar with the term bob, we talk about bob dies all the time. It means block and board. All the shapes you need to make this 16 inch finished block are in one die board. Now, let's talk about it. Oh, here I have one. I love it when we have one. I have all my fabric cut out, ready to put on here. Okay, so let's talk about this. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna notice is that we have screen printed the letters on the die board. That's gonna help you keep track of your pieces. And Terry Vandenbosch, who um, designed this pattern, the Icy Hot Stars, she has a great tip that I'm gonna show you as well, okay? So all of the pieces are screen printed. Look, we've cut off the dog ears, so we have these uh, quarter inch seam allowance. All the things are perfect. And we're gonna divide it by color, okay? The Go Feather Star makes a 16 inch finished block. So if you have the eight inch cube or the four inch cube, this is a great um, die to go with it. Now, this is such a great die because there are 21 pieces on the die board. It's okay, take a breath. Most of them repeat themselves, like down here, okay? And it's on a 10 by 24 die board, which means it will fit through our Go or our Go Big or even our Studio Cutter with the appropriate adapter, and you're going to need a 10 by 24 cutting mat, okay? Today I'm gonna to use my Go Big, but you can use that as well. Now, quilters, on our packaging, there are detailed instructions um, as to how to lay out your fabric and to cut it. You can also download that pattern from AccuQuilt.com. I'm gonna tell you to follow those directions and make a test block at least practice like right here, here, I'll hold up my block. Practice putting together these segments here. Okay, just practice because it's just fabulous. Okay, now the next pro tip is to go to the dye product page on our website and download the free direction sheet. So Justin, can we get a really close, this is my sheet. And it's gonna show you how to lay out your fabric. I know it's beautiful. All right, it's also gonna tell you how to put your block together. And there's a color page if you wanna change kind of the colors. All right, so you wanna follow the instructions on how to lay out your fabric. All right, we're making a three color block. So I'm gonna lay out my fabric. Remember, you can always cut six layers today. Um, this is not the fabric that I'm using in my block. We had a lot of um, extra pieces from the product or from the project. So I'm gonna use those pieces. Um, but it's gonna cover A and F. And remember, you can always put six layers, but read the directions on how much fabric to lay down, okay? And B and C are the same color, they're the red. In the Icy Hot Stars, Leslie, it has two colorways. So in some of them, the center is white, and others, the center is black. Yeah, I like the, the swap up, so it looks slightly different. I know, I think it's kind of cool. All right, and I have some little scrap fabric that I'm gonna lay over here on H and E, L-L-E-R, okay? <laughs> and then D and I and G, these are the black and the white. And depending on how many pieces you need, um, you can read the instructions and it'll tell you, okay? So basically what I did quilters was measure from here to here at a quarter of an inch on either side and then I just uh, pre-cut my fabric, all right? All right, so there we go. All right, Leslie, while I cut this with my Go Big, tell us what people do in the wintertime. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of people are saying sewing. Yes. Um, Marie says wear sweatpants, of course. Oh, Marie, good job. Laurel says she goes ice fishing. Okay, I know lots of people who ice fish. I don't think I do. There, is two, there are two words in there that don't appeal to me. Same. Ice and fishing. Same. I like to, okay, here, uh, okay, before anybody gets mad, I do like to fish. I like to sit in a boat with a Diet Pepsi 
and every now and then check and see if a fish has bit <laughs> on the line. Okay, I am not an active fisher. Are you? I don't think I've, I've maybe fished once in my life. Oh, okay. Yeah, Oakley, she loves to go fishing. It freaks me out putting the worm on the hook. And then, like, <laughs> when I was little, I fished with my uncle, and he had to take the fish off the line for me because it was Yeah, Oakley scary. is all about fishing. She would go fishing every day if you let her. She loves it. She'll put the worm on for you. We'll take her. Okay, perfect. Okay, join Eric and I on Tuesday, September 28th at 12 noon Central Time for Battle of the Cubes. Um, why do they want to register, Leslie? Because they'll be entered in for all of our awesome giveaways, and we have some great giveaways for this next show, yep. as well as fabric giveaways. Yes, there are. <laughs> we're gonna, and we're giving away some great prizes. Yes. Right? So be sure and register. Now, quilters, if you don't like the colorway of this black and white and red block, you can use our free pattern called Go, our program called Go Quilt. It's gonna allow you to change the colorways of thousands of patterns. Um, they need an AccuQuilt account to log in, but is it free, Leslie? Yes, it is. It is. All right, so here, ooh, look, so staticky here. My little quarter square triangles are moving. Hold on. I'll, I'll peel them down so it looked like I'll, the illusion is still there that it was all on the block. Okay, so here we go. Slide, don't lift. That way we'll get all of our good stuff. Now, quilters, look how fast I cut this block. Sewing it together is going to take a little bit of time and some patience. Okay, so here we go. I have some fabric here, and I'm just going to peel it back. Look at this. Now, it is really, 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 really important, okay, to keep I and G separate. Pretend they're teenagers, okay? Because these are quarter square triangles and these are half square triangles. And in a second, I'll show you this really clever way that Terry showed us how to keep track of it. Okay, now watch. Now I'm gonna peel this back right here. Okay, here we go. Now, this piece right here, these pieces that come off this half square triangle, are always going to look like this, right? You're always going to have a little bit of extra right there. I'll show Justin right there. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trim it down and then I'm going to put it in my scrap pile because certainly this is fabric that I can use for other things, okay? So sometimes like when we cut the half square triangles, there's some extra there and that's the best way to do it, okay? So I'm going to just put some stuff in my scrap pile. I have it over here is my bin, okay? Now, now that we've cut some stuff, let me show you. All right, here is the sample block. And Terry uh, sewed this, so blessings on her hip, because this is phenomenal, all right? And I'm gonna show you the back because it's beautiful. Uh, press your seams open. How come they wanna press their seams open, Leslie? Because there's so many. Yeah, you get tons of bulk, okay? Now, some of you are already in your quilting head saying, oh, Pam, there are so many pieces, no way I can sew this together. And it looks like they have tons of Y seams, but actually there's only two right here in the middle, these two Y seams. So today what I've done is I have pre-sewn quite a bit of our step outs so that I can sew the block together because the Y seams are the last thing you do, okay? And we'll, we'll sew one at the end just to show you, all right? All right, everybody take a breath. All right, so this is a cool block because it has mirrored images, okay? So these are this way and these are this way. But here's the important thing. When you cut your fabric, you want all that fabric facing up because these shapes down here, it's a little harder with batiks to see you know, which way is facing up but it's gonna allow you to create your blocks the correct way, all right? I'm also gonna tell you um, that you wanna make sure you keep track of um, uh, G and I, okay? So here's all the Gs right here, okay? And then these are I's. It makes a difference and we'll talk about them, okay? So everybody just take a breath. Okay, so the first thing we did is I created a whole bunch of these, and I'm gonna show you these right here rather than sewing some together real quick, okay? 
So right here, just, or um, Joe, I'll get a good um, shot right here. So these are shape eyes, right? And we just showed, sewed them together to make a square. And then you're gonna sew it to shape F, which is, here, I'll show you here. Get, see, this is why we practice. I'll show you down here. Just have to make sure I keep track of them, okay? So here's that shape I, and then here's that shape F, and it's kind of a diamond shape, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna have all your pieces, press them open, and then add the diamond shape, all right? And you're gonna make mirrored images of them, which I did right here, okay? So we're gonna start down here as we sew our blocks together, okay? So, I and F, okay? And I made it, well, Terry made a test block, so I'm gonna make sure it's going the right direction. And it is, all right? So the thing you wanna do is you wanna sew this row here first. Then, follow the directions, add this row, and then, we're gonna add our triangles, okay? Because then it's gonna work, all right? So see right here? No, 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 see, I'm all messed up. Just hang on a second. There we go. This is why you wanna lay your test block this out. This is why you wanna lay it all out, yes. There we go. Oh, okay, here we go, we're good, we're good. Okay, because then we're gonna sew them together like this. There we go. All right, so Leslie, while I'm sewing this piece onto the top here and figuring out what I need to do, um, tell us what do people do in the winter time? Paula says she turns on the fireplace and reads a good book. Oh, that's a lovely thought. That's um, a lovely thought. Right, I would okay. love to do that as well. I don't yep. have a fireplace though. Uh, Bernadette says she quilts, puts on a good movie or a podcast. There we go. Sue stays inside when it's cold and works on quilting projects. So a lot of people are quilting. Yes. Um, Diane will quilt, read, and watch TV. Okay, keep talking because I'm laying my pieces out here. Annette staying inside and baking cookies. I'm going okay. over to uh, Janet's house. Vicki lives in the desert, so winter they put on long pants. They put on long pants in the yeah. winter? Well, oh, because the rest of the time they're wearing short pants. Yes. Okay. All right, just give me one second here, quilters. This is why I'm going to tell you to lay out all the pieces. All right. Uh, Deborah keeps the wood stove filled in a cup of chai and quilt warm things in the winter time. Oh, that sounds delightful. It's a lot of quilting and watching TVs and movies while they do so. There we go. Okay. So don't mind me because I'm just laying out my pieces. All right. So I know which way I'm sewing here. Holy smokes, Leslie. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I'm good. Hang on. I think I need to graduate up to this. No, 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 no. What happened was I needed to sew some pieces on here, which is why now we can show you. Okay, so look, here's shape A and B and C and D and E and F and G and H, okay? So when you're, oh, and I, right there. All right, so this was a great way to kind of organize our pieces, all right, so that everything works together. All right, so now I can add my pieces here. Because that I was like, dang, I've missed something, but actually I hadn't. Okay, so on the end of this, I'm gonna read my instructions and I'm gonna add my shape I. All right. All right, let's see what else did they do. And don't forget to share, because we're gonna give away one of these dies as I get my pieces all straight here. I am seeing a lot of sewing, staying indoors. Yeah. Joan sews and makes puzzles. Oh, I do love a, a good puzzle. Yeah. Deb likes love a good to puzzle. make soup and bake. Oh, there, that works. Patricia said, after such a hot Georgia summer, she hopes to spend the winter outside. <laughs> there you go, there you go. All right, so quilters, I'm gonna start up here and then I can add my pieces down here because that's really gonna help me here. All of a sudden now, I just got all flustered. I don't usually do that. All right, there we go. It does help to know that I have a piece here. 
See, this is like real television, right? You have to make sure we're doing it right. Okay, now all of a sudden, Leslie, I'm just flustered. There we go. There we go. Okay. Hang on. A lot of people are loving the plate idea to keep organized. Good, that's what you need. That is what you need. Okay. And the reason that I'm all confused now is because this is not, we don't add this yet. This is the whole thing. You gotta remember that that is a Y seam. <laughs> there we go. And we're all ready to get back into the game here. There we go. Okay. Okay. And we're good. Everybody just take a second here. This is why I had all my pieces laid out. All right, so here we go, here we go, there we go. Okay, all right. So now I'm gonna make sure this is just the easiest way to do it. There we go, and there we go. I know, Leslie, you're excited to hang out here with me today? I am. Those block assembly instructions do come very like handy, or very handy to have next to you while you're I know, and I'm just, I just all of a sudden got nervous about it, and I was just like, dang, this is not good. This I is not good. Always make sure to print those off when I'm working on a new bond yes. die that I've never used before. Yes. Yes. Okay, hang on. And we have them for every Bob die on the product page, so. Yep. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this the way that it should go and then I can know. Okay. The problem was I took my piece off there. There we go. Carolyn's right. calling this your puzzle of the day. Oh, listen, I'm so sorry, quilters. Here we go. All right, so now let's get to some sewing here. Holy smokes. I had all my pieces all laid out and then I moved it. That was the problem. When I put together this block, I really did have to concentrate. You know, it's just not one where you can just, you know, throw it together and see and look. You wanna lay your pieces so you don't sew it together wrong. It's a fabulous die quilters, I promise. I think once I got, once I got flustered, that was the beginning. All right, let's see what are people doing in the winter time and what should they get with that BOGO? Well, with the BOGO, I'd recommend getting, if you have the 10 inch cube, get those companions today because one of them would be $54. Oh, there you go. Um, it's also a great time to stock up on strip dies because a lot of these patterns have strip dies in them. Right. Um, so if you get the from the one inch to the one and three fourths, if you buy one of those and get another one in that same size, it, the other one would be $33. Oh, that's a great deal. That is a great deal. Okay. And then Brenda in San Diego says they pay what is called a weather tax because it's so expensive to live here, but they can play outside all year long. They have a what kind of tax? Weather tax. I've never in my life heard that. <laughs> okay, said, so here we go. I finally have some pieces. So I wanted to show you how to add that F. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna sew, oh, here we go. We're back in our groove here, quilters. The A's and the E's and the F's and the G's, it's all great. Um, I, I want to live where there is a weather tax. Me too. I'd like to be able to play outside all year long. Yeah. Also, Kimberly says, Pam is human. It, she what? Pam is human, showing you trying yes. to put the block together. <laughs> when I was sewing the step outs, my husband came downstairs to ask me like real questions. I was like, listen, you, I cannot talk to you. I have to be able to focus here, okay? All right, so now, I'm just gonna keep my little pieces right here. Okay, so now I've sewn this, and so now you wanna add that little square, which is, hold on, I gotta read the instructions. It is shape E. So look, see how these are here with the E's and the F's and the D's? This is important, okay? 
and it just does really help when you lay it out together. And I had all the pieces pinned together perfectly. Imagine that. Okay, here we go. All right. All right. Okay, so these are how those shapes go together. And you wanna read the instructions, right? Because obviously, <laughs> as I'm sitting here today, okay, so I'm gonna press this open real quick. I'm gonna move my pressing mat. Alyssa, do you have one of these little shovel irons? I do, I got it yeah. after you told me about them. Yeah, they're awesome, they're on our website. Okay. Same with the pressing mat as well. Yes, yes, okay. So now I am going to sew this piece to here. And the thing that is super cool about this is that all of these pieces are gonna line up because we have all of those great specialized dog ears, okay? And so if you can sew a quarter inch seam, once you get your pieces organized, then it's all, it's just a really quick piece from there. All right, hold on. There we go. Leslie, have you made a quilt that had any kind of Y seam in it? No. We sh we'll show you today. We'll get through one. Do a hexagon quilt, so I'm gonna oh, do you need sew to learn those by y hand. Seam. Those hexagons? I don't. I use the bigger hexagons, and I use my machine to do it. Yeah. Are you making a new Halloween quilt? I am not. Well, I will be, but not yet. I'm working on quilts for all my nieces and nephews. Oh yes, you told me that. I think that that is a fabulous idea. Okay, so look quilters, I'm gonna press this and you can see. All right. All right, here we go. Now look at us. Now we're gonna add, right? Our pieces go the correct way. So now we're gonna add this shape here, which is shape D. So I'm gonna come right here to my little box, okay? And we're gonna sew it. Okay, see, just take, give me a second here. Da, 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 da. I know, I'm just all stressed now, hold on. Well, everyone appreciates watching you because they say it makes it feel more like they're sewing because they oh, do there the we same go. thing. So they appreciate watching there you go. through okay, it. Okay, quilters, here's what is happening. I'm trying to sew these in here and I turned my block. It's okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, I know, it just takes a second, right? Okay, and then I'm gonna add this piece to here, right? Okay, and I know, it just takes it a second to get there. All right, so now I'm gonna add I'm gonna just lay my pieces out, right? So here is this section, right here, that has the square, right? Let's see if I have one here that's already done, that's close. No, nope, I can make one now. Okay. Square, that's done. Okay. Just give me a sec. Okay, so I'm gonna, put together this little block of row right here, all right? And, <clears throat> excuse me. And you can see how that this, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna add this and we're gonna sew the block together. These pieces are gonna come on this side, okay? So, here we go. All right, Leslie, what are people doing? Dolores says in winter they open their doors and windows because they can actually sit out on their pool deck as well and eat breakfast and dinner there. They open their doors and windows, I love it. They must live somewhere with hot climate and then- Where it's hot and yeah. nasty, right? Crystal likes to get under a blanket, knit and watch scary movies. Oh, there you go. I could do that too. Okay, I could totally do that. 
Someone said they needed to start working on their holiday projects and the day's the day to buy dyes if you need your holiday projects. Yes. Um, our applique dyes, like the Halloween medley and the cat and bat, if you bought both of those, one of them would be $18 today. Oh, there you go. Okay, so look, I'm just laying out my pieces. So I'm gonna create this side here and then we're gonna add the same thing to the other side, right? Because we're gonna add this and then we're gonna create this long piece. It just takes a minute, quilters. There we go. Listen, you should all have been at my house this weekend when I was sewing this together. We could have just hung out. Sharon wants to make the feather star, take this feather star block and make a bowl cozy. She wants or to what? Take the feather star block and make a bowl cozy or casserole carrier with it. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. I like that idea. Me too. If you do that, send us a picture. Oh yeah, we'd it. love to see your pictures. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And this. As I'm just adding pieces, quilters, just, there we go. There we go. So now I'm gonna add this side, right? Cause see how this is gonna go together here? You have to build the center. It's all coming back to me now, right? <laughs> Following those instructions. So what you wanna do is you wanna build this center block and then what you're gonna do is sew this to there and then these to the side, okay? I tell you, Leslie, I haven't been this flustered in years. A lot of people are saying it's because you unpinned everything. You had it all organized, I you did. unpinned it, and then it that threw you off. That was the problem. I had it all pinned and it was perfect and I was showing Joe during the rehearsal. I said, hey, this is how it's gonna go. And he goes, oh, okay. And then, ta-da, I unpinned stuff, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna add this because I really want to get to a point where I can show you where the Y seam is because it's super easy to put in a Y seam. Um, we have tons of videos on our website and YouTube, right, er, or Leslie, about yep. how to sew a Y seam? Yeah, I think you and Erica, Erica. did one. Yeah, Erica's all guy. about Y seams, boy. She is the rock star of Y seams. And we had the Y seam gal, what is her name? Kelly Ashton. Kelly Ashton, she came on the show and talked about Y seams which is kind of fun. She loves them. I do not love them. I tolerate them. <laughs> yeah. If there's a block that I really love that has Y seams, then I'm down for it. Like, I do love this block. I just, you just got to get to that point, right, where you go, oh, yeah, I do love a good Y seam. Okay. So we're getting there, quilters. Just bear with me here because we can put it together on this side and show you. Okay, so now I'm gonna put these two pieces together and I'm gonna add my little side here. You can see how here I've already sewn a row together. Okay, you gotta have the rows together before you add the Y seam. Yes, pinning, pinning helped. And then I unpinned. Erica would be proud of you. She would be so proud of me. <laughs> She's on vacation. She's shop hopping this week. She's having a good time. Vicki wants to know, why do you do Y seams? Um, oh, the, so you can sweat on <laughs> AccuQuilt Live. <laughs> so you can show your um, people. Okay, why you do Y seams is because, oh, we're getting there, quilters. It's much looking like a feather star. So what happens is this piece right here this piece right here, we call it a set-in seam, okay? Because what's gonna happen is, once I sew my pieces together, there's, it's, it won't fit any other way, okay? So I have to create a Y seam, all right? And in order to do that, what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna come to the end and stop at a quarter of an inch and just literally leave our needle down and turn it and sew that Y seam back, okay? All right, so here we go. Look at us making progress, Leslie. I know, I'm super excited about it. 
And I'm trying to find some pieces so I don't have to sew that whole row, but it's okay if I have to sew the row, which I think is like three pieces. Uh, I think this is it. I'll just take this. Uh, I don't want a Frankenstein one. <laughs> I know that's what it's called. Do you know that? You just, no. when you're adding pieces together and it's not going the way you want, it's called Frankensteining. Okay, so I'm gonna read my pattern and I'm gonna sew these together. Hey, Leslie, will you tell everybody about our blog? Yeah, so our blog, um, Kate and Erica are go-getters, um, a couple other people with an AccuQuilt. They write blogs with exclusive patterns, projects, tutorials, tips and tricks on how to store, do storage in your sewing room for your dyes and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, there's new dyes twice a week, maybe three times a week. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, so you can subscribe to it and get notified as soon as it goes live. And some of those projects and patterns only live on the blog, so. Yeah, I didn't know that for the longest time. <laughs> And then I, we did an AQ Live and somebody said that and I was like, what? Yeah, they're pretty great. Some of them are very, like things I would have never thought about. Some of them are very quick and easy patterns and projects if you're looking for something fast to do too. Okay, so we're, we're getting there, quilters. So look, I'm gonna create this one. I followed the pattern. It has an H, so this is I and I and F. So we're gonna sew these little I's together and then we're gonna add an F. I know, I'm excited. Our blog is great. We, um, yesterday, we had this great event. What was your favorite project yesterday, Leslie, on the event? Oh, I just really loved how Kimberly did use the binding or the two and a half inch strip die for her, um, her binding, piping. her piping and her furniture. furniture. Yes. It just blew my mind because it's like, I never would have thought of doing that to reupholster furniture. Honestly, I think she should just make jammies for all of us. Yes. And they I, were super cute. I love Laura's layette set too. I know. I and thought when she that told me she was doing that, I was like, what the heck is a layette set? I'm the oh, one who yes. had no clue what that was when yes. she proposed Yeah, it. that's a big Southern term though. I'm old enough to have had that term in my life. Okay, so I'm gonna lay my piece here, right? And then I'm gonna add the shape here, which is another I, and then we're gonna add F. And you wanna lay your pieces out, quilters. It's gonna go together great. Yeah, I thought it was cute that they were all Georgia Bulldogs. Yeah, I thought that was cute. <laughs> okay, all right, so I'm gonna press this. All right, this is a great way to use your little shovel iron. Uh, G and E, this C, this is why we lay our pieces out because now I'm trying to find F. Here we go. E and F. Okay, so see, look, Brooke has this great picture up there of all the shapes. Okay, so I lay it here. I'm gonna add shape F. I'm gonna sew it to the top of this and then I'm gonna sew that row together. It will work. I promise. Now that I'm back in my little groove here, okay? And don't forget the corners are really easy. And this is part of the rock the block, right? So yeah. the weather vane and the uh, feather star. We have so many stars. We have morning star and all the stars. Oh, I do love morning star. <laughs> okay, so look. See, now it's gonna fit right here on top of my square. So I'm gonna line up my pieces. Boy, let me show you how you can just line up. See, looks perfect right there. Okay. All right, so much of you just watching me sew today, but we're loving all the comments. All right, Leslie, what else are people doing in the wintertime? Let's see, someone goes sledding with their dogs. I saw that one. Sledding with their what? Dogs. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I think that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, Barbara loves a good snowball fight in baking. Okay. Uh, Danielle says when it's cold outside, she bundles up with the kids to play in the snow while she quilts and watches them on the cameras to like keep an eye on them. That's awesome. <laughs> that's what you need to do. That's what you need is just a, a baby cam so you can watch them. Okay, so quilters, look at this. Look, see, we came together. It was a beautiful moment here. Let me just press this down real quick. I'm gonna sew this bottom row together so that I can show you how to make this uh, 
Why a seam? Okay, so look, I'm gonna tell you that while I sewed my pieces when I was making my test block, I actually used my shovel iron, but then when I was done, I gave it a really good hard press with my big iron, okay? Notice, all the shapes are going in the right direction. <laughs> That's what we want, okay? I feel like um, this would be super fun in different colors. Like what colors would you make it in, Leslie? I'm a very neutral person, so probably just black, grays, and whites. Oh yeah. Besides uh, Halloween. Halloween I can do the bright, fun colors, but. All the Halloween things. Um, on the packaging, there's a blue and white one. Yeah, I like that one too. Yeah, that would be really fun for um, winter. Yes. Also, since we're almost at the part, Jean wants to know if the top and bottom don't have a Y seam, why do the sides have the Y seam then? Yeah, see, that's a great question. <laughs> and the reason is because of shape F. Right here, this diamond, it creates an, an angle that you have to put the Y seam in. Yeah, I thought the same thing. I was like, why am I making Y seams if the top and the bottom don't need one? Okay, so when we created the bottom, okay, we created this block, right? And then what we did was we added the edge and then added the diamond. So you're creating, you have a, a triangle and then you have a row and a row and then you added triangles to the top. This one, we, we're setting it inside. I know that is such a good question, okay? so. Look, I'm gonna sew these, oh here, I'll pull it down so you can see. I'm gonna sew these three rows together and then I'm gonna show you how to do a Y seam because that was my whole plan. So while I'm sewing this, I'm gonna leave this undone because on the other side, I don't wanna have to take it out when I put that Y seam in. Um, join us next Tuesday. Eric and I are gonna do um, a great show. What is it all about, Leslie? It's Battle of the Cubes. Battle of the Cubes. Do you have a say, uh, favorite size cube? I do, but it's not a part of the Battle of the Cubes because we're using the 4, 8, and 12 inch because they're our top selling cubes. But out of those three, I do the 12 inch. I like the bigger size. You do like the 10 inch cube, how yes. come? I just like the easy math. Yeah, <laughs> right? It just makes it simpler when you're making a quilt, but I would go for the 12 inch next after that one. How come the 12 inch after that? I just like how quick you can make a quilt when you're using the bigger side sizes of the cubes. Yeah, I, you know, when I first started at AccuQuilt, um, the 12 inch was my, well, I have been a, at AccuQuilt long enough to have been here when the cubes were first released. Oh. Yeah, and so um, the nine inch cube was the one we released, okay? And so that was the one, and then we released other sizes of it. Okay, I'm gonna press this down a minute. Okay, I left it open because Believe it or not, when I go, well, not today, but when I get back from vacation, I'm gonna finish this little corner here, which has just four little seams on it, right? And then I can finish my block. Okay. So, um, yeah, I do love the 10-inch cube. This is the perfect die, right, for the 10-inch cube. Well, this is four and eight, right? But the center, what size block does this make? 16. 16, good job. Yes. So the four and the eight, but I, interestingly, the center square is a five inch finished square. So I'm gonna tell you that if you own the 10 inch cube and the companion sets, which are on sale today, mm -hmm. you can make blocks. Gosh, doesn't that look pretty? Okay. You can make blocks that will fill this center. Okay. All right, here we go. Look at us. Big round of applause for all your patience as I unpinned my fabric and then found my thank you prop. It was either that or I could just have a crying sound. Do we have a crying sound? <laughs> there, that's it. That's it. Okay, let's show you how to do this Y seam. Okay, so look right here. I'm gonna put this seam in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right here on this side and I am gonna stop a quarter of an inch 
And I'm just gonna measure it and put a pin in there because pins have been, this is the pins. Pins have were my nemesis today. It's all Erica's fault, she taught me to pin, okay? So I'm gonna put a pin right there so I know that it's a quarter of an inch. Normally I just mark it with my fabric marker, okay? But since you've all been so patient with me today, okay? Oh, see, already, right? Okay, so I'm gonna start here on this end. I am gonna stop when I get to my needle and I'm gonna leave my needle down and I'm gonna pick up my fabric and move it and then I'm gonna add this other side. Why seems not as tough as you think. In your quilting head, I'm sure some of you are going, oh Pam, I could never do a Y seam. And I'm gonna tell you the Y seams, super easy in this block because you only have to make two, okay? All right, don't forget what's our promo today, Leslie? It is buy one, get one 70% off. With promo and the code, code is BOGO70. Yep. Right? And, and like you were saying with the companion sets, if you already have the 10 inch cube, get both of those companion sets today. One of them is $54. That is a, such a great deal. Oh yeah. Okay, I stopped. Okay, I'm gonna put my pin back because I am barefoot <laughs> in the dream studio. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my needle out so I can show you. Okay, so now here's what I've done. I have this quarter inch seam that I have stopped at. So now I can line up my piece right here and I can start at a quarter inch seam and then I can stitch all the way to the edge of the block. And when I do that, it's gonna stay in there. Okay, why seems not so hard? We should practice some, Leslie. I think I need to practice my quarter inch seam first and make sure I have oh, that down. Cause yeah, I'm still relatively that's a really new. good call. Yeah, quilters, you need to be making sure you have a good quarter inch seam. I'm gonna back stitch here for a second. And then Julie said, would she get the angles or corners first? Oh, Which see. do you use most? But I'd get both today cause one was only $54. Right, I was gonna say, yeah, just get them both. And then one is just $54. So look at that. All right, you ready? because we're gonna have the cheering one, okay? <laughs> Not the wah, wah, wah. So look at this. See, ta-da, ta-da. After all of that, holy smokes, quilters, thank you so much for being patient with me today. So here's my tips. When you're doing this, just sew one section at a time, okay? It was hard for me today to have all of my pieces out so that we could show you how to do it, but these four corners are gonna be the same, right? And these two pieces are gonna be the same. So, and these are gonna be the same. So once you lay out one, then you could do a little bit of chain piecing, right? You could create this border and this border, okay? But do you see now why we have to make a Y seam? Oh, I'm gonna press that, okay? Because the other sides have that shape F. Good old shape F, all right? That's why you have a Y seam. All right, Shh. don't forget to share because in about 30 seconds, we're gonna pick a winner of the Go Feather Star Dive. Be sure and share your vid this video in your personal Facebook page for a chance to win. We're gonna announce a winner here in just a few minutes. Quilters, I don't even know how you would cut this project with a rotary cutter. Do you, Leslie? No. Can you I've imagine? Never cut anything, any quilt with a rotary cutter. I've been lucky oh, to yes. use AccuQuilt. Oh yes, lived in the only AccuQuilt <laughs> world, right? You probably need paper templates. And remember with our dies, um, you're gonna get thousands of cuts in every single time, okay? So once we've sewed this block together, you're gonna finish following that pattern, right? And for the icy hots, you're gonna need two of this version and the two of the black center versions. So keep that in mind, okay? And again, they just have those two little Y seams, so it's not a big deal, all right? Then you would put the blocks together. What kind of, we're, strip dies are in sale today. What yes. strip dies should they get? They used, for this pattern, they used the two and a half and the one and a half. Okay. So if you bought the two and a half, you'd get the one and a half for $33 today. That's a deal. I love strip dies. I do too. So today's a really great day to get strip dies, to get cutting mats, to get companion sets for your cubes, right? Because they're yeah. buy one, get one 70% off. 
Um, if your order is more than $175, right, we'll ship it to you free if you live in the contiguous US. Yep. And then what happens if they spend more than $325? They get a free go me. Free go me, all right. Don't forget to join Erica and I on Tuesday, September 28th at 12 noon. We're gonna have Battle of the Cubes register in the link below. Okay, now listen, are you listening? We are this close to getting our goal for TikTok. If you don't know what TikTok is, it's an app, you can download it. And when we get our um, viewers to 1,000 views, 1,000 uh, likes, right, or 1,000 followers. Followers, there, followers. Um, that we're gonna give away a free go me. They're gonna just pick one randomly, right, from the 1,000 followers? I believe so. Wow, I hope they pick me. <laughs> I followed two TikTok accounts. One of them is AccuCult. Don't forget today our last promo. Buy one, get one 70% off of cubes, dyes, and accessories. Use that code BOGO70. Spend $375, and like Leslie said, we're going to ship you a go free. A go me free. <laughs> All right. I have no more words. So will you announce our winner? Yes. So our winner today is, drum roll, please. I'm going to pronounce your last name wrong. I'm sorry. Elizabeth Collins from Lincoln, Nebraska. Congratulations, congratulations. Okay, now before I end, I wanna show you one last thing. So we have this great, um, the center, remember I said was a five inch square, right? So Leslie, um, it is getting Halloween time, right? So yes. the BOGOs, what would you suggest for Halloween? Um, I would suggest our Halloween medley and our cat and bat die, which yeah. if you buy one of those, or both of those, one of them would be $18. Oh, for sure. Get those for Halloween. Yes. And for the holidays are coming up. So this is our sleighs and snowflakes, right? Yes. <laughs> I had to think about this for a minute. Um, so these uh, snowflakes, first of all, all of our applique shapes have a free embroidery download at AccuCold.com. Comes with three stitches, a blanket stitch, a satin stitch, or a motif stitch. So today I'm going to cut out our snowflake because I want to show you how cool this is. Remember our die is only going to cut where there's fabric and a mat. So I pre-fused my fabric. Leslie, how many layers of pre-fused cotton can they use? Four. Just four? Yes. Yeah. Because it counts as half a layer. It does count as a half a layer. You have learned so many good things here at Happy Coat, Leslie. And so let me show you this real quick because it's gonna look super cool in the middle of our block. Ooh, I cannot lose my pieces, holy <laughs> smokes. We're gonna use the Terry Vandenbosch one that is completely done. If you want to, um, Eric and I did this great video on how to put this block together. You can watch that as well. Okay, now I have one string. I don't want to pull it because I don't want my snowflake to have that dumb little thing in the middle. Okay, the only people who should ever cut snowflakes by hand are kindergartners. <laughs> okay, and they can cut as many as they want. Okay, I have one little string here, quilters. I just don't want it to go anywhere. Okay. Tiny, tiny. Gosh, these one little string is right here in the end. Okay, and then look at this. I'm just pulling it away slowly. This is not a Band-Aid, don't rip it off. See, right there, I got that one. All right, it does better when you cut more, but look at this. Look at how fun that would be in the center of our block. All and right. Cindy asked, would it fit on the pennant die? And yes, it would. And if you bought the pennant die and this die, yes. the Slade Snowflake die is only $21. <gasps> there you go, make you a little holiday pennant. Um, we cut these out of felt all the time here at the Dream Studio and craft foam, all sorts of fun things you could do. Or you could do fabric and just um, applique it. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. I had such a great time showing you this. I tell you, it's just a great block. I'm really excited about it. On behalf of our entire Facebook team, offsite we have Morgan and upstairs we have Nick. Leslie's in the Dream Studio today. We also have Nick and Joe and Brock. I am Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. We'll see you next week. We're gonna talk about the four inch cube. <laughs>